Okay, so the Biden administration, oh, the economy, Biden is great, is the greatest thing, great, great, great. And then the consumer, every time they turn around, they're paying more for everything. How, how does that stack, doctor? Yeah, thanks for having me on. You're right. It is a tough time for American consumers right now. They're seeing prices of everything that they buy going up. Uh, and that's, you know, gas prices and food prices and home prices, everything across the board. And so they're facing higher prices, but then they've got all these things coming from the Biden administration, new regulation, new taxes, and a higher debt than ever that Biden's using to spend on all these pet projects for his, you know, political cronies. And so it seems like, you know, Americans are really getting hit from both sides by the higher prices and the terrible policies from the Biden administration. Okay. So when you hear Biden go out and go, oh, inflation's coming down, which it is on the board. I mean, it's coming down from, I think it was almost 10%. And it's down about five now, or whatever it may be. Then I'm the greatest president, economic president of all time, because inflation is coming down. But correct me if I'm wrong, Biden himself ignited all the inflation for the first 18 months of his uh, administration, right? So it's funny because Biden wants to take all of the credit for things that he did not do and accept none of the blame for the things that he did. And so it's a little bit strange. You know, he's saying that, oh, we've seen all this job growth, uh, not even mentioning that we're in this huge recession because of COVID. And so all that job growth is really just a recovery to get us back to normal, you know, and so really has nothing to do with the Biden administration. Um, And then trying to take credit for, you know, prices coming down. Prices were high because of huge inflation, mostly because of the U.S. Federal Reserve, which has finally started raising interest rates to try to get that under control. And again, Biden wants to take credit for this, even though really nothing to do with him at all. So my uh, posture on this broadcast and others has been when Biden came into office, the first thing he did was attack the American uh, fuel industry. All right. The gas industry, the heating oil, everything. Attack, attack, a regulation after regulation after regulation. Boom, 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 boom. And that immediately raised the price of fuel, which immediately raised the price of food because the truckers had to pay more for gas, and it's always passed on to consumer. And then there was all of these uh, product delays to get the products to market, and they just stack them, stack them, stack them. If Biden had not, and I mean, you're a uh, senior research guy at the American Institute for Economic Research. If Biden had just left it alone, when he came in, left the American energy industry alone, as Trump did, would we have all of these higher prices? I know it's speculation, but what's your opinion? Yeah, you know, I think Biden is being uh, a little bit not totally truthful about the way that he's uh, describing the you know energy prices. You know when he when he was running for president, he said he wanted to eliminate the fossil fuel industry altogether, and so get rid of oil companies. And then once oil prices were high, he said, "Oh, we're going to do everything we can." I'm a friend of the energy industry and the oil industry, and you know obviously that wasn't true. Um, but I'm I, you know I mostly put the high prices and and partly high gas and oil prices on the Federal Reserve that's had two expansionary monetary policy that's driven up prices. You know, Biden called this uh, high gas prices Putin's price hike. You remember that? Uh, Because of Russia's war with Ukraine that disrupted the oil industry. But if we look at the price of oil, even before that, it had largely gone up. I mean, at the start of 2021 and the beginning of the pandemic recovery, it was about $45 a barrel. And a year later, before Russia invaded Ukraine, it had already doubled to $90 a barrel. Um, And that was a period when prices were going up around the economy because, you know, the Federal Reserve was keeping interest rates low and continuing to buy bonds and pushing up all prices. And so, you know, so I think a lot of that has to do with the bad Fed policy, but certainly Biden's policies of trying to uh, pick on the energy and oil industry in particular, talking about new regulations is certainly a problem. Okay, because harvesting of energy in this country under Biden, I think, is about 70 percent. Uh, of what it was under Trump. And whenever you don't have, whenever you have 30% less of a product, the product's going to go up. I mean, even I can understand it. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, 
the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.